What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a terrain generator. So first what you're going to do is you're going to have to have three blocks the same size, one dirt, one stone, one grass. Now what you're going to do is move it to the bottom left portion of the screen. Then what you are going to do is it should have the right coordinate because it updates based on what position you are. You see how it updates? So once you have that, you are going to make a block, call it render, run screen without refresh. Then what you are going to do is go there and pen clear. Then what you are going to do is make a variable for the sprite only, call it height. Then what you are going to do is set height to pick random 1 to pick random 10 to 15. Then you are going to repeat height, stamp, change y by 16, and then you are going to switch to costume stone. So now if we go, as you can see, and do one click render, and we're actually going to take that off run screen without refresh so you see what it's doing. As you can see, it's good. Now what we are going to do is switch to costume dirt. Now what we are going to do is switch to costume dirt, stamp, change Y by 16, switch to costume grass, stamp. And we are actually going to repeat the stamp, change Y by 16 two times. So as you can see, we now have this. Now we are going to repeat this part 10 times and we are going to do change X by 16 and set Y to negative 172. So now if you see, it's starting to render. Now what we are going to do is we want the height to change so that it's smoothly, but we don't want it to be random. So if we were to set height to random, as you can see, it's like, it's too steep. The terrain, when you do it random, it ends up being too steep. You see how there's like one with the three block, you want it to be smooth. So the way we do that is the height, we set height to height plus pick random negative one to one. So that means the height will always be one and, and no more than one than what it was before. So if we go now, you see that it's smooth. There's no super steep parts about it. Then we are going to repeat 20. Let's set it back to run screen without refresh. Hide the variable. As you can see, let's repeat 30. And then we are going to hide and then show. So as you can see, every time we click the green flag, it's generating a new terrain. Now what you can do is if you duplicate the stone and just make some ore. As you can see, I would just call this coal then what you can do is switch to costume pick random one two two then what you would do is pick random two two three and put that in the stone part where it's stamping and as you can see now it adds coal to the terrain but it's too often so what you are going to do is pick random two to three so what this will do is it's basically decreasing the probability so if it picks random two to three if it does two then it will automatically do will pick random two to two which will be two obviously but if it does three then it will basically it decreases this spawn rate and then you can do it again if you want it to be more less common and then you can just duplicate it and do it with maybe like you want to do some iron up in this boy you could do switch to custom pick random two to four and it'll do the same thing as you can see the iron is less rare than the call which is what we want and then you could just keep doing that based on how much you want i'm just gonna make a quick sky here uh too depressing then what you could do is you could duplicate the grass block make it a wood block <laughs> then what you would do is just duplicate it then you would duplicate it again make a quick leaf block then rename this one tree undo at the end you're going to add a change y by 16 right before change x by 16 and then you are going to do if pick random one to let's do 10 equal to one then switch to costume tree stamp and then slide that right in between these two now if you go uh trees will spawn and then you could obviously do 
different types of trees or maybe do like maybe do some grass and just switch to costume pick random six to seven now as you can see grass would spawn maybe you could switch these up do the whole trick we did up here pick random six to seven pick random six to seven just decrease the rarity but yeah thank you guys for watching that's how you can make a terrain generator i'll see you guys in the next scratch tutorial peace